omnibus issue um, blower motor so what is it the customer says is the the blower just stays on right no you can't like the blower after the key is shut off the blower motor still runs okay 750 uh, it's a 2010 so if you look all these blower motors i mean not blower motors but the flat stepper motors are all connected to this lin bus right here so lin bus coming from that ihka has a splice here which goes to the uh footwell flat motor and to the blower motor itself so what we're looking at is it goes from this flat motor then in and then out to all these other blend door motors so if you look they're just blend door motors inside where the heater core is as well as the uh, evac and they basically change the direction of the airflow and heat temperature all that but there's a lot of them i don't even know how many there are but there's tons right and they're all on that lint so 2011 750 let me just full screen this really quick so what we got to do is we have an issue with that lint bus it's taking so one of these guys is taking down the lint when we do it yeah so let's look at that real quick so here's the vehicle so we're gonna have Jim hook everything up. Let's turn the key on. I'm gonna plug everything back in. Oh, just turn the key on, show them a good signal. So this is a good Lin bus signal. If you look, the bus is communicating between about a half a volt all the way up to a little bit over 12 volts. Right, so that's a good Lin bus signal. Now, when we hook up that first stepper motor to introduce all the other stepper motors in the dash in series, you're gonna watch what happens to the voltage once he hooks up. That's so once once he hooks up the lower motor. trying to get in there. Okay. It's plugged in the stepper motor too? Yep. So once we got that, it takes down our Lin bus. So that's a bad, that's a default bus, no communication really. So now the blower motor goes on to max and it just stays at that speed. You can't change any control. So, so how to diagnose this would be we would have to go to each blower motor in there and disconnect each one stepper. each stepper motor one by one to see who's creating the fault internally because the wiring is fine there's no short to ground or added resistance in the harness it's one of these stepper motors that's causing this to occur so next process disconnect each stepper motor one by one to get this to come up thanks for watching